Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I kind of want to show you guys a new game that I've been playing. Um, or at least I've really wanted to play. I've only played for like an hour. Uh, it's a game called Tangle Deep and it's got a really interesting kind of style to it that I really do enjoy. It's kind of like that style of like, if you guys ever played Tales of Majal, I believe it's called. I call it Malaysia. I know it's not called that. Um, there's also... Um, uh, what else is it called? I think it's, um, let me just make a new, a new file anyway. I think it's called uh, Dungeon Man's is another one. Or basically, the style of the game is you play in like heroic mode, which is like hardcore. Where if you reach zero HP, the game ends, you have permadeath, only banked goods and town progress will be saved. This is challenging, but also the intended way to experience Tangle Deep. So we're going to make our uh, profile name as Pox. All right. So there are currently, what is this, seven classes? No, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine classes. So I'm just going to go ahead and briefly kind of go over each one. Uh, we've got the Brigand, which is a dirty fighter that relies on subterfuge, high mobility, and striking enemy weak points for massive damage. Now, each class has, like, I'm going to call them perks, I guess you could say. You've got basic ability, advanced ability, and master ability. And these three abilities are passive and they are learned or, well, they're not all passive, but they, they're acquired passively. And they're basically earned, uh, they're earned via uh, spending JP, which is your job points or your JA, job abilities. Um, and these are your actual skills that you would have on your classes. So you, each character gets all of these as set skills, and as you learn them, you unlock your abilities. So anyway, let's go through each one. Uh, Floramancer wields the power of verdant nature, summoning beasts, traps, and obstacles to control the battlefield. Sword Dancer effortlessly carves through enemies with impeccable discipline, technique, and grace. Spell Shaper is a mad scientist of the magical arts, combining elemental forces and bending them to their will. Paladin is a noble knight that smites evil and calls upon divine magic, good for beginners. Uh, Bidoka, terrifying master of secret deadly martial arts, uses physical prowess to cripple and destroy enemies. Hunter is an eagle-eyed expert in dispatching at enemies at range, armed with an assortment of traps. Gambler, the, I've actually played Gambler and Houston. Uh, Gambler is a risk-taking fortune seeker, specializing in outlandish attacks with a pinch of luck mixed in. And Houston is augmented with ancient runic technology. This mid-range fighter wields magic and technology alike. So I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with Spell Shaper, because um, I've never seen anything of what this character does. So we're just gonna go ahead and select him, and we're gonna jump right on in. So you can have two starting feats. Um, just since I'm a noob, I'm gonna go with basic ones. We're just gonna go with Toughness and Scavenger, which is extra HP and more HP on each level. Scavenger is fine, more and better loot. Now remember, if you die, you get to just redo all of this again. So you get to pick another class. Uh, and you get to pick your new starting feats. And I've only played to like floor five, so it's not like I've really played too much either. Okay, so this is basically the game as you jump on in. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and hit J, and from this page you can see your character stats, you can see your equipment here. You've got view all, weapon, offhand, armor, accessory, if you want to look at them separately. I noticed here on the right, there's a common magical legendary and gear set. So I guess legendaries slash gear sets. I haven't found any of these. This is like sets. Uh, you've got consumables. Uh, here are the skills that we have that we can learn from. So we've got 250 JP. You can see we have our basic trait that is currently active. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. So we have... After a brief delay, teleport you to the target square. Teleport sounds pretty cool. I don't know how long the delay is, though. Spell shape line. Uh, spells will take the shape of a 3 by one rotatable line at the cost of added stamina. Fire evocation. Blast with molten fire that leaves a residual burn. Spell shape possible. Okay, so that means it can be tagged with this. All right. Uh, what else do we have here? Ice evocation. Chills the enemy with freezing ice, slowing and reducing accuracy. Okay, it also does damage though. Shadow evocation. Um, batters the enemy with dark energy, increasing the effect of further dark damage. Okay, we're going we're going with shadow evocation. And uh is say spell shape possible. Spell shape possible. Okay, we're just gonna go with let's go with shadow and ice. Oh at, oh acid? I didn't even notice there was an acid. Splash the enemy with potent acid, weakening their physical defenses. Okay, cool. So this guy scales off spirit power as well, and I'll get spell shape line. 
All right, so let's go ahead and jump on right in. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the Tangle Deep. Actually, I don't even know where it is. We're going to Cedar Cave, our caverns. Okay, so I don't know if this guy is melee or like what he is. What's my weapon? Chance to stun your target. So I guess you actually, so this character is melee for now. So we've got Shadow Evocation. That's like huge range, what the hell? All right, so that's Acid, that's Shadow, that's Melee. There are three secrets on each floor as well. So that's one, that would be two, or I guess three treasures, and that's number three. Uh, sometimes there's more, I guess I guess the only exception to the sometimes there being more would be based on if, uh, if it's like a special room, if it's like a side room. We got a slingshot. All right, buddy, come get slingshotted. All right, so he just did an AOE, so we're gonna go ahead and just move out of this. Okay. Oh, that's a champion. All right. Evocation requires 25 energy. I wonder if there's a way I can I can transfer like my stamina to energy with this guy. I don't know what the hell that thing is. Oh. Okay, we got him. No problem, got some energy back. So it does work on a turn-based system, if that makes sense, where every turn you guys can kind of like see how it goes. All right, one, two, perfect. Now, there are healing flasks, and you can see it restores a percentage of maximum health over five turns. And you can stack this, I have no clue how high to, uh, but you can fill it up with those flasks, which is pretty cool. I think there's usually like two a floor. Nice level up. So I believe they were scaling off spirit, so let's go spirit. Okay, that's a healing flask thing there. So this is carrot patch. This is gonna be a side area. Please take one honor system. I have no clue what that means, but uh, I guess I'm not a very honorable person because I'm taking all the carrots. Is that something up there? No. All right, so let's go grab the flasks here. And then check one more spot and then we'll go flare floor two. What's up here? Oh, is that another side area? That's Jelly Grotto. Okay. The cool thing is you have uh, three weapon or four four weapons that you can switch to in combat, which does not take a turn, which is pretty nice. Oh, hello there, buddy. This is chance to stun, right? Get stunned. Get stunned. Oh. Oh. Alright. Wait, that was damage over time that killed him? I think I think so. Dude, casters have like OP range, man. I'm used to playing melees. Oh, that's gonna hit me, probably. Okay, can I learn a new skill yet? Delayed Teleport. So, Delayed Teleport costs stamina. These are energy. Um, returns 100 charge time. Oh, that's Spell Shape Square. Oh, that's right, to hit in different... That's right, that's right. Spell Shape Ray. That's really cool. So this character is all about, like, penetrate magical events but exhaust you for one turn after casting. Man, while at 50% stamina or lower, your spirit power increases. Dude, this character is really cool! Okay, let's get delayed teleport. We're gonna want delayed teleport here so we can start bouncing around. 
So how long is this brief delay? Oh, it's not that bad. All right, looks like we just got some boots of focus. They give 10 discipline. I don't know, what, what does discipline do? Discipline, mental fortitude, willpower, and focus. Oh, that's like perfect. Okay, and we got a blue slingshot, right? Or I thought I got a blue slingshot. No, it's just the boots then. Or no, oh, I guess it's just a white slingshot. It just came up as blue. Oh, he pulled me in? What a douchebag. Let me grab this. I should have actually hit warp this. Oh, actually, it's right here. No problem. All right. Let me just tap a healing flask here. Who is this? It's not safe to travel by yourself, especially with these parts. Plus, you look pretty beat. Tell you what, I'll let you crash here if you take turns keeping watch with me. Yo, I'm like full health, dude. But sure, let's do it. Yo, I feel like this guy's gonna, like, mug me. Alright, let's do this. We're gonna do it. I hit sure. Or actually, can I cook? I can cook, right? Let me see this. I'm pretty sure... How do I do this? Do I just... Here we go. Nice. So this is basically just cooking the materials that you find. I have no clue if this is good or not, but these carrots, like, you can't even normally eat. So, making this Tangle Deep curry is pretty cool. Alright, and before Shark Boy, like, mugs me. I wanna fight him. I wanna fight him. You can have some of these leftovers I cooked last night. Yo, he gave me some leftovers, dude? Campfire roasted meat? Here I was thinking this guy was gonna mug me. Eating it restores HP to full? Oh my god, that's OP as fuck. <laughs> So one other thing is, uh, I believe this may be after floor two. I actually just got an apprentice staff. What does that do? Damage based on spirit and swiftness. Okay. So after, after, um, I think floor one, you then become able to, uh, you find like, it's kind of like a Pandora's box almost. We'll see it here in a second. How good is this? I wonder. Let's find out. So let's smack him. Can I hit him? Oh. There we go. Level up. Nice. Let's get some more spirit. So you find like a Pandora's box. And that's a champion mob. And um, if you open the box, it... What the fuck is that? Alright, we're gonna delay teleport back here. If you open the box, you essentially will make all the monsters stronger. But... On the plus side, you will gain a t basically like a ton of XP. Let's see if we can find it. And gold and everything. Oh yeah, gold, XP, and JP. It's like a gigantic yellow chest. I may have actually missed it on the first floor. Uh, that is not a champion mob. That guy just got destroyed. Nice OP pull! Uh, okay, let's line of sight that guy back. Alright, there's a champion here as well. And I am actually Oom, so I can probably just auto attack like Joust this guy. Here, look. Let's see if I can teleport myself over here. Holy shit, does that guy hit hard! 
Okay, I know we've got some food here. Do we have... This restores 22 energy. Here we go. This is 43 energy. We'll do that. Okay. Let's give him another... Can I rotate this line? I think... Oh, I can. Okay, so that means if I move here... Oh, that's insane. I can hit him... Oh, that's OP. That means I can shift this to be in a line and hit both of them like this. Okay, this character is awesome. All right, let's move like this. Unfortunately, this is 15 energy, which means I could... Oh, my full? I don't think I can eat this because my character is full. Okay. Let's just joust him. Let's just give him some let's give him some auto attacks. Nice. Alright, I just want to find this Pandora's box so I don't come off like a liar. <laughs> come here, Pandora's box, where art thou? Can I turn can I turn off spell shape? Pox stops using spell shape. Okay, cool. Alright, that's the box. That's Pandora's chest. So if you look at the bottom left, I'm gonna smack this chest. You can see I gain JP and gold. And that's and XP, I believe. So and that's pretty cool, because like I said, JP is used for all of your skills. And then once you unlock, basically when you unlock enough skills, you'll unlock your next trait, which would be for me, increase the range of all spells when a spell shape is active. Oh my god. Learn unstable magic. Uh, which blasts enemies with random elemental effects. Yo, this class sounds so awesome! Anyway, that's pretty much going to be it. Let me know what you guys think of this game. Uh, the game is called Tangle Deep. And before we actually end, let me just search it here. Uh, I'm sure I can find it on the Steam. Let's see. Where, how do you do this again? You go to uh, store. There we go. Tangle Deep. Alright, so Tangle Deep will actually be coming in on... I don't exactly know when. I'm pretty sure it's coming out in a week or two, though. Available early access July 2017. Well, it's coming out yet. It's coming out soon, so don't worry. Anyway, though, like I said, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Let me know what you think of uh, in the game in the comments. And uh, if you like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Also, the soundtrack is pretty great. <laughs> Hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you boys all tomorrow.